Still eyeing a coastal storm. I'm your all just show more of Tushin. If you're on the mainland, I'll be honest with you, it's not a big deal. And thankfully, it's not. At the shore, though, is where we're going to see the impacts. We're breaking it down by category for you here. Looking to be a medium risk of strong winds at the shore. We will have gusts to around 40 miles an hour starting early in the morning tomorrow and then continuing at times all the way through Friday. Now, when it comes to wind damage, uh, 40 miles an hour isn't enough to bring much in the way of wind damage. Maybe a couple of spotty power outages at the shore, but that would be it. The mainland, I think, really has no impacts here from this beach erosion a little bit over at the shore. I've spoken with a couple of officials up and down the coast, and they're thinking about it, but it's not really at the top of their mind. What is is the coastal flooding, and there's a high threat for that as we go on throughout the next couple of days. Let's show you what we're talking about. No change to our coastal flooding forecast for you as we go into Wednesday morning action flood stage. We enter flood stage Wednesday during the evening high tide and then again for the Thursday morning high tide. And then we peak as we go into the Thursday evening high tide and we'll get into the Friday evening high tide in moderate flood stage. You'll be hearing a lot of minor versus moderate flood stage. I want to make this chart for you to kind of break down what the differences are. Minor flood stage in short, we see this many times a year. It's your nuisance kind of flooding. When you talk about moderate flood stage, that's so you start to see water getting into homes that aren't raised and it's impossible to move in some spots with the roadway flooding and we start to see every shore town see some kind of flooding from this not just the susceptible ones like ocean city or ventnor or atlantic city and if you're not careful lives may be at risk as cars can flow in some of that water uh, that comes from moderate flood stage let's talk about the rain that's coming tonight now this is our coastal storm sitting east of virginia now it will rain as we go into the evening and as we get into the early morning hours on wednesday that's when we start to see some rain moving its way inland but we also have some showers left over in the delmarva they'll try to make its way through point being we will see showers during the day on wednesday pretty much until the p.m rush hour but i don't expect it to be an all-day washout for you and in fact rainfall totals should be relatively on the lower side less than a quarter of an inch for most places though we do need the rain we are still abnormally dry or pre-drought conditions in south jersey for this evening temperatures slowly falling through the 60s into the 50s even had a little bit of sun for our sunset here but we'll see a mostly cloudy sky as we go into the evening and then winds will pick up as we get towards midnight it'll be after 3 a.m that the rain comes as a change later than the mid day video and it'll be breezy as well north and east 14 to 22 miles an hour and it is a raw day on wednesday it is for some a wet day on wednesday but not a washout on wednesday but we do have windy conditions as well gusting to 40 at the shore 30 at the mainland here's your fall planner paving or anything that you need a hundred percent no rain not a good day everywhere else you'll have to play it by ears one of those things where you could get a break or two uh, for a couple of hours during the day, you could be fine for any outdoor work or events. Mainland seven day forecast, cloudy for Thursday and Friday, still staying raw, still staying breezy. And as we go into the weekend, we start to brighten up and warm up as well. And then look at early part of next week. Very nice fall conditions here. We go to the shore seven day, minor to moderate flood stage for Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Sunday is the full moon, but I do think we're gonna have a Northwest and a southwest wind over the weekend that will push that water out. But we'll monitor it. Should be just minor flood stage, if anything, before we get into a nice weekend ahead. We're talking about the coastal flood advisories in effect, as well as what local towns are doing to prepare for this days-long coastal storm on social media, as well as our website, depressiveac.com weather.